Five Steps of Emotion Coaching for Preschoolers As your child grows, his emotional expressions become more varied, while his temperament and preferences become more distinct. As your child enters the preschool years, you can refer to the Five Steps of Emotion Coaching to address your child's emotions positively, provide guidance in emotion regulation and effective problem solving. This helps your child's physical and mental well-being. The five steps include Be aware of the changes in emotions of your child and yourself. Shift your perspective to see your child's expression of emotion as an opportunity for connection and teaching. Listen with empathy, understand and accept your child's feelings. Help your child express emotions in words. And set limits and work with your child to solve problems. Now, let's take a look at how parents can apply the five steps. Emotion coaching, practical applications. Parents and caregivers are waiting to pick up their children outside the kindergarten. A little girl is excited to show her grandfather her drawing. Grandpa, look! Her grandfather responds with no interest. Yes, yes, hurry up, the bus is leaving. The little girl is disappointed on hearing her grandfather's cold response. Meanwhile, a boy from the girls' class also shows his mother his drawing and says, Look, Mum, I drew this. This mother is able to be aware of the emotions of her son and notices her son is happy, but she's also feeling rushed as they are in a hurry. However, the mother reminds herself to shift perspective and take this opportunity to rejoice with her son. So the mother's frown is turned into a smile. She listens to her son with empathy and helps express emotions in words by saying, You're so happy with this drawing, aren't you? But we have to go now. Tell me all about it when we get home. The mother then sets limits and works with her son to solve problems and takes this chance to connect with her son using emotion coaching. Let's look at another situation. This little girl arrives home from school and grumbles. I'm not going to school tomorrow. Upon hearing this, the mother tries to downplay her daughter's negative emotions and asks, It's so much fun at school, right? Of course you want to go. Meanwhile, the father remembers he has to be aware of the emotions of his daughter and notices how upset she seems. He then shifts his perspective and reminds himself that his daughter cannot regulate her emotions well yet so he tries to find out her reasons and comfort her. His daughter looks upset while she stares at the floor. The father approaches her and asks, You look upset. Is there something at school tomorrow? The girl looks at her father and replies, I have to tell a story tomorrow. I'm scared the class will laugh at me when I make mistakes. After listening with empathy, the father expresses his understanding by helping her express emotions in words. Oh. I know how you feel. I would be scared too. The girl nods. Her father then tries to set limits and work with her to solve the problem by discussing solutions with her. How about we practice together a few times? Or what if you take Teddy to school with you? What do you think? The girl thinks for a while and says, I want Teddy to go with me. And that's how the father applies the five steps of emotion coaching. As long as you attend to, understand and accept the emotional changes of your children at different developmental stages and apply the five steps of emotion coaching, including be aware of the emotions, shift perspective, listen with empathy, help express emotions in words, set limits, solve problems. You can support your child's healthy development and build a close parent-child relationship. To learn more about children's social-emotional development and how to respond to the emotions of infants and young children, please watch the videos on Feelings and Connections Matter and Tips on Emotion Coaching. To understand more about the five steps of emotion coaching, please visit the website of the Family Health Service, Department of Health at www.fhs.gov.hk and refer to the corresponding pamphlets. This video is produced by the Family Health Service of the Department of Health.